Hi, I'm Rich Rosenfeld and I'm an ear, nose and throat specialist here to tell you everything you need to know about earwax. First, earwax is good for you. It cleans, it protects your ear, it fights germs, it catches dirt. So leave it alone, please. No Q-tips, no fingers, no bobby pins. Second, if you do have a lot of earwax and it builds up, you may experience some discomfort, perhaps a little reduction of hearing, even some ringing in the ears. If it bothers you and you think it's earwax, you can treat it yourself. But first remember, earwax is not wax. It's water soluble. So don't waste your money on expensive products. Just take some plain garden variety tap water, wrist temperature, an eyedropper, put a few drops in a couple times a day, see if that relieves the symptoms. If it doesn't, then see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. And they will do one of three things. They can clean the earwax out directly with some special instruments and a microscope. They may flush it out, or they may also use some ear drops. But either way, they'll get it out very safely. Now, earwax takes care of itself. And the way it does this is by what I'm doing right now, talking to you. Earwax actually finds its way out of your ear canal because of the motion of your jaw joint. It rubs against the front of the ear canal and actually helps wax get out all by itself. So, bottom line, wax is good, leave it alone, nothing smaller than your elbow going in your ear canal. You can try some tap water, and if it really bothers you, please see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. You can find more information about all sorts of ENT conditions at enthealth.org, and you can even find a specialist if you need to see one. Thank you.